Ratno Marsudi, Minister for Foreign Affairs of Indonesia. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Mr. President, I flew 21 hours from Jakarta to attend this meeting. I just want to remind the Council that you have a big responsibility to maintain peace and security, not to prolong war, not to back up any side, to continue war. Indonesia condemned the continuing unprecedented aggression against civilians by Israel in Gaza. We are seeing a humanitarian catastrophe. Crimes against humanity are happening as we speak. Are we going to stand idle? Attacking hospitals, religious places, blocking access to power, water, fuel, and displacing population of the Gaza Strip are being conducted as a collective punishment. At the same time, civilian hostages are being held. Their lives are in critical danger. So I come here to ask the Council, how are you going to exercise your responsibility? When are you going to stop the war in Gaza? create ceasefire, open access to humanitarian assistance, call for immediate release of civilians, stop the illegal occupation of Israel. I have to repeat it. Stop the illegal occupation of Israel. Every second wasted due to political disagreement and value for consensus represent a humanitarian defeat for the Palestinian and creates further instability for the world. How many more lives should perish before this August Council make a move? Because I can assure you one thing. Indonesia will not waste any single second in harnessing global support for immediate action. Through the OIC, ASEAN, the ASEAN GCC, and D8 meetings, Indonesia has pushed for a united voice to urge for the cessation of violence and focus on tackling the urgent humanitarian catastrophe. Mr. President, Indonesia calls the Council on three points. First, a united call for an immediate ceasefire. Silence is harrowing against deafening sound and bullets of bullets and rocket. Blanket support shown to one side has so far led to further disproportionate use of force, violation of international humanitarian law and impunity. It is our collective obligation to end the cycle of violence before it escalates into a regional and global calamity. Second, prioritization of humanitarian access. More than 2 million people in Gaza are hanging on to their lives for basic humanitarian needs. Convoys of aid delivery are mostly being held immobilized and in constant danger from crossfire. The Security Council must urge immediately for safe and unimpeded passage of humanitarian access and respect toward humanitarian law. Third, move beyond politics. Bring back humanity to the Security Council. Please use your great power to be more human. The Palestinians deserve equal rights and treatments. We are all human beings. We all deserve to have a home. We must reject the displacement of Palestinians. We, have, we must not let the 1948 tragedy reoccur. The Security Council holds great power, and with great power comes great responsibility to address the current situation in Gaza, to address the root cause, and ensure a path to state solution. Indonesia stands with the people of Palestine. I thank you, Mr. President.